Welcome to another part of the tour around Construct 3's interface. Today's video will be introducing you to the main menu, where we've housed a lot of your important stuff relating to your projects, accounts, and so on. While the exact look of the menu can change depending on whether you've got a project open or whether or not you're logged in, I'll walk you through the most important features in this menu. If you click the menu button at the top here, you'll open the main menu. I'm currently using Chrome on a Windows machine, I'm logged into my account and I have a project open. So my menu looks like this. Yours may look a little different depending on how you're using C3. The first option in the main menu is the project menu. Here's where you'll find the controls that relate to your current project. You can save your project. Options include saving to the cloud, the browser or downloading a copy. You can preview it remotely or locally or even start debugging your project. Then there's the export option, so head to this point when your game is ready for the big wide world. And if you're done with your current project, you can close it from here. You can also start a new one or open an existing one. Moving on, below the project menu we have view. This is where you can customise which of your bars you have open and you can switch the start page on and off from here. So let's say you accidentally close the project bar for example, head to this menu to restore it. You can also open the add-on manager and export manager from this menu. Below view, you'll see the account menu accompanied by your profile picture or a generic one if you're not logged in. To show this menu at its fullest, I'll need to log out for the moment, which I can do from here. Okay, so now I'm using C3 as a guest the account menu has grown somewhat. You'll now see options to register with us, or log into your Construct account, or even purchase a Construct 3 plan. You'll also see the option to enter an access code, but this only really applies to our education users and will be covered separately. The final option in the account menu shows you a summary of your account details, like so. Now, I'll just log back in and we can continue. In some circumstances, you may see the option to install Construct 3 as an app. This will then create a shortcut on your desktop for C3 and will open it in a window like a native app as opposed to a browser tab. But bear in mind, not all browsers support this option. Next, we have the Get Add-ons option. This will take you to the Construct add-on exchange where you can find behaviors, effects, and plugins to download for Construct 3. If you're looking to expand C3's capabilities, the add-on exchange is the first place to check. Below Get Add-ons, we have the Skira Store. As the name suggests, this will link you to the Skira Store, where you can buy game assets, other software, and more. The next button is an important one, Settings. This opens up your control panel where you can customise Construct 3 settings to work the way you prefer. Adjust things like language, UI mode and themes, whether or not you subscribe to beta releases or experimental features, and more. It's worth looking through this to help set up Construct exactly how you want it. Another important link is next, the Help button. This opens up Construct 3's manual and should be your first port of call should you have any questions about how things work. And finally, we have the About dialog. This displays information about the version of Construct 3 you're currently using, as well as credits, storage information and diagnostic details. There's quite a lot of interesting information tucked into this little dialog. And that concludes the tour of Construct 3's main menu. Be sure to familiarise yourself with everything the menu holds, as there's no doubt you'll be using it a lot as you experiment more with Construct 3. Thanks for watching this video, and we'll see you for the next one.